hello today we are learning a calculation still we are in more we are learning today calculation involving relative formula mass uh, which is shorten as rfm which shorten as rfm and relative molecular mass which shorten as rmm okay let's understand what's this meaning relative formula mass or relative molecular mass both of these ones are also called molar mass they are also called molar mass so these ones are molar mass so the relative atomic mass uh, as we have learned but that one is the is the you have divine in form to that one i will not go it again but relative formula mass and relative molecular mass this is they are dealing with compounds most mostly relative molecular mass deals with the gases we are going to see calculation go in a separate way this one deals with gases where relative formula mass deals with compounds this one deals with co compound like salts different salts so this one deals with compounds relative formula mass where this one deals also a compound but a gas gases especially gases eh? so let us see and this one relative formula mass is for 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 salts okay let me rub it let me clean the board i want each and every one of you especially students from secondary form three and form fours to take a lot of note about these lessons that i'm bringing and to the youtube okay let us see the examples that we have we have this example calculate the relative formula mass of the following sodium carbonate sodium carbonate as you see it's written as n a 2 c o 3 this one i'm not going to teach you now because you have learned in form 2 sodium carbonate so how do you calculate the relative, form relative formula mass so in the bracket in the bracket we have we have car carbon as 12 sodium 23 and oxygen 16 that is the relative atomic mass they have given us in the bracket so how do you calculate this is what you do you say relative formula mass is equal to sodium what is the value of sodium 23 and you say 23 times 2 23 times 2 then you'll say plus carbon we have 12 we have only one carbon here in the compound plus oxygen we have how many oxygen three oxygen we'll say three times the number of oxygen each oxygen molecule is 16 oxygen atom not molecule then this is what we calculate why am i multiplying these two sodium in the bracket we have 23 times 2 because we have two sodium carbon we have 12 only oxygen we have 16 16 oxygen and we have three oxygen we multiply it then here we have 46 plus 2 23 times 2 is 46 plus 12 plus 3 times 16 48 so the total will be 106 so the relative formula mass the rfm of sodium carbonate it is 116 so this is how is it okay that was a let us do b again but b is saying magnesium oxide mgo magnesium oxide where m we have 24 in the bracket and oxygen 16 so this is what we do but b magnesium oxide so the relative formula mass of magnesium oxide is equal to we have magnesium 24 plus oxygen 16 because we have only one oxygen here we have only one oxygen and one magnesium then 16 plus 24 it will be how much add it add it please you have calculator because you are allowed to use calculator 
use calculator 16 plus 24 it is 40 if I'm not wrong the answer is, is equal to 40 very good 16 plus 24 is equal to 4 40 okay we have the other question we have the other question 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 C aluminium carbonate so we don't have space let me get a rubber and wrap this board let me wrap the first question Okay, we have now C, C, aluminium, carbonate, so this compound is very complex, when you're doing such compounds you have to be very careful otherwise you get stress, you can get easily make a, an error. So aluminium carbonate. So aluminium in the bracket we have 26. We said aluminium we have two aluminium here. Two times before I start let me write the RFM. What we are calculating is RFM. RFM is equal to two aluminium times each aluminium is 38 not 13, 13 is the atomic number 26 plus in the bracket we have carbon C, carbonate, carbon 12 times we multiply this 3, anything in the bracket we multiply 3 times 3 plus we have oxygen each oxygen is 16 16 16 oxygen times 3 oxygen again times this 3 which is outside understand like that now let's multiply it use calculator please when you are doing such question <coughs> 26 times 2 here we have 52 plus 12 times 3 12 times 3 here we have 36 plus 16 times 3 times 3 3 times 3 is 9 times 16 is 144 then we sum up aluminium carbonate will be equal to how much aluminium carbonate equal to this is bracket eh? aluminium carbonate is equal to 52 plus 36 plus 144 the answer is 232 so this is the answer I hope everybody is understanding. Everybody is understanding, okay? Uh, that's how you do it. This one is very simple. That's why I will not take much time. We will go relative. Our next lesson will be relative molecular mass.